good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new wrestling action figure news and kind of leaks and stuff going on today, guys. We're not on the WWE side of things, but we are on the All Elite Wrestling side of things. AEW Unrivaled Collection news coming at us right here, and I don't really know what to think of this. I think there is a lot of truth to it, and I even have some backup, like, sort of, I guess you can call it evidence. I don't really know, but, you know, we have a few things that kind of lead us to this presumption and what I'm thinking in my brain. I'll let you guys know all of those details as we continue throughout but I know that my boy Christian Unstable posted a little bit about it yesterday but we have some more even new stuff today so huge shout out to Unstable1047 me and him were kind of tagged in this thing on Twitter and I'll kind of get into it here but yesterday on the Target app or I think it's actually been up for a little bit now guys the Target app or the Target website if you actually google it you can find it yourself but here on the website, you guys will see it says All Elite Wrestling, one figure pack, unrivaled figure, W3 hyphen Luchasaurus, shop all jazzwares. Now, I know for a fact there ain't no dead gum, you know, target website employee on there and just typing in BS on the thing. That just wouldn't make any sense. So I would highly guess that Luchasaurus is pretty much all but confirmed for us. And you guys obviously know it says W3 there, which would be what? Wave 3? But we've already received Wave 3, right? I've done all the reviews on the channel. Luchasaurus was not a part of that wave. If it was, I would have let you guys know about it because I've been wanting Luchasaurus ever since I saw the man debut. Ever since I saw the guy, I wanted a damn figure of him. It's the reason I got a custom. It's the reason I have, you know, he's one of my favorite performers in in all of AEW. I think he's really unique and all that stuff, but that's besides the point. In this thing here, you guys can see it says W3, Luchasaurus, or what have you. I think that this is pretty much confirming him for Wave 4. Now, what I'll show you guys is that if you take us back, way back to Toy Fair a year ago, and I'm going to plug in this video right quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about. When he was interviewed, this is a this is an interview from Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. I want to give a huge shout out to Nerd News today for the video clip I'm about to show you. He did some interviews with Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy in New York for the Toy Fair in 2020. This is right before the pandemic hit. It was in late February, actually. Uh, literally, like, days before the pandemic or a week or two before the pandemic officially hit America really hard. And, you know, we had the whole, you know, the big spill of things. But I'm going to plug in this clip and you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let's start with Larry. Larry, what do you think about the new figures from AEW? Well, he was upset he didn't see my toy out there, but I had to explain to him that my tattoos are so intricate, it's going to be in the next wave, which is still this year. So don't worry, Larry. The Lucha Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy figures are coming very soon. It's just my fault because the tattoos are, you know, so detailed. But after 65 million years, you know, they're going to be kind of detailed, you'd think. Are you officially confirmed for Wave 3? Because that's something I'm wondering is who's going to be part of that and all that kind of stuff. I haven't heard. I, well, I, I can't officially yeah, confirm. Official, yeah, no, I don't right. know if it's official, we but... They might just be saying that so that I don't get angry and eat somebody. Fair enough. But I've, I've heard that they're coming re relatively soon. So when we eventually do get the Jurassic Express figures, yeah. what accessory do you want to have with your figure? Oh, definitely Marco. Is he, <laughs> is Marco, <laughs> is he considered an accessory? Uh, no, I think um, uh, for me, I think I just like it to be able to stack him on my shoulders. I think that's our accessory. So we're, we're crossing our fingers that they do something with that because I think it would be very unique. Um, and that's our main thing. He rides my shoulders down to the ring. He's kind of my human accessory as I walk down there. So there you go. You can hear from Luchasaurus himself that apparently he was supposed to be in Wave Series 3, but his tattoos were so intricate that they could not plug him into Wave 3. You know, it was going to take a little bit while, uh, you know, a little while longer. And then he even said that it was supposed to be 2020, but now obviously 2020 is over with. He was not a part of AEW Series 3. So my guess would be that him and Jungle Boy would have to be confirmed for, for Series 4, right? I mean, that's just logical. Like, if you follow the facts, you follow the interview, you follow the thing, you see this leak right here by Target. He wasn't in Wave 3, so it, I, I think it's all but confirmed again that Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy will be in Wave 4, which makes me really excited, man. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to see what his figure looks like. I'm a huge Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy fan, so seeing them in the, you know, the AEW wave and the skin tones and the details and stuff like they said, I can't wait, man. I think it's going to be absolutely impeccable, but that is not all we have, guys. So, you guys know that we already have Sammy Guevara, right? So, we have Sammy Guevara already confirmed for Wave 4. I think they're even working on a golf cart play set for ringside collectibles possibly for a ringside exclusive like little golf cart play set and everything like that so Sammy Guevara is confirmed we've already seen his figure we know exactly what we're getting there I think that is excellent we've seen the Luchasaurus link in the you know the leak here on the Target app or whatever the case is and we we have to assume so far tag team partners have came together in these waves right we've seen the Young Bucks twice we've seen Pentagon and Phoenix it would only be logical that Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus come together in the same set so that would 
fill in three of the of the six spots but then we have a spot that has been confirmed again by the Target app. And you guys will see right here. This actually comes to me from my man GrizzlyKid4 on Twitter. Huge shout out to Adam for this. Adam Grismala or Grismalia. He actually tagged me in this on Twitter yesterday of a screenshot from the Target app again that says Unrivaled Figure, same way as you know as Luchasaurus. It even has the UPC code or the SKU code right there. And it says Wave 4 Matt Hardy. So Matt Hardy going to be a part of Wave 4? Or is he going to be a part of Wave 5? You know, because Luchasaurus said Wave 3. Maybe they had their numbers mixed up and Matt Hardy's actually going to be a part of Wave 5, but I would guess that he'd be, you know, a part of Wave 4. I guess we'll have to see about that, see, you know, what comes of that. Maybe he's Wave 5, maybe they didn't get that far, and if that's not the case, then I'm not exactly sure, but I think it is all but confirmed that we are going to be getting a Matt Hardy in the next couple series. And then another screenshot that we got, guys, is this one from the same kid. Huge shout out to Adam for this. He says, he showed me another one that was also with this Matt Hardy one that says Lance Archer. So it's AEW Unrival figure Wave 5, Lance Archer. So Lance Archer being a part of wave number five, which is obviously two series from now. It's not one series from now. It's not wave four, but wave five. Does this mean he's going to be in wave five or does this mean he's going to be in wave six? Very, very, uh, you know, kind of confusing right now. But I think context clues and all these different leaks and things like that are really, I don't know. I, I, I think that it's pretty obvious that these figures are going to be coming, you know, even if they're not in the specific waves, it's pretty much locked up and confirmed that we are going to be getting these figures in the next couple series, if not the next. So I think it's all all but wrapped up. I think that the Luchasaurus news is huge. I think we are going to be getting that. Again, Jeremy did post the other day that he's going to be revealing the figures very soon. Like the other day on Twitter, he legit said uh, AEW 4 picks or AEW figure picks for Series 4 are coming soon. And, you know, he put that out there, and I think that, you know, that's that's something that we're going to be able to see here. He also talked about the UFC figures being available soon. So, like the 6-inch scale, the ones that I think it's going to be UFC Series 1 re-released in the 6-inch scale. You guys know the Conor McGregor and all of that. I think he's re-releasing those in the, you know, like uh, WWE figure scale or AEW figure scale. So, that will also be really huge. So, that's awesome. I can't wait for that. I'm counting down the days. Hopefully, very soon that will be coming. And I know, again, just like the Major Wrestling figure your podcast is doing, you know, that that certain talk with uh, with Mattel on the 26th. I think they're doing one with Jazzwares and AEW three or four days later or two or three days after that. So maybe that's where we'll get even more reveals or something like that. But I think we're kicking the year off right, man. Hopefully, you know, AEW series number four does drop very soon or at least the photos. I just want to see what the Luchasaurus and the Jungle Boy look like. I know Luchasaurus mentioned something about, you know, the Jungle Boy figure riding on his shoulders. He wanted that to be a very big part of the figure. So hopefully Jeremy took that into consideration when making the figure. And I think, I didn't know this, but Jeremy has a background with the WWE Jax line. Like he was heavily involved in that from what I read. I could be wrong about that, but I think I read up on him having a background with the WWE Jax line and you guys know that Jax always brought the goods man they all had the, the play sets and the details and everything like that they were just limited on what they could do at the time with the figures but with the AEW and where we are in 2021 and Jazz wears and their Fortnite figure line and all of the different things we've already gotten from the AEW figure line we're gonna we're I think we have just you know reached the surface of how good these figures and how great these play sets and things that we're gonna be getting could go like we we are just hitting the tip and we're about to we're about to discover some mountains Brad so Hopefully that will be the case, but that is all the news I have for you guys today. Little uh, AEW Unrivaled Collection, little figure news coming up here. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Before we get out of here, guys, let's go ahead and get into our random shout-out for the day. And this shout-out is going to go to Leighton Flynn, or Leighton Flynn. He says, when MDT sees a figure he likes, 10 out of 10. When it arrives and his eye is misplaced by 0 0.1 millimeters, 0 out of 10. I think that's hilarious. I think it's hilarious how there's like this, this freaking like, I don't know what you'd call it, this preconceived notion that just because a figure has like a slight, you know, inconvenience or a slight mishap that I just throw it under the bus or throw it in the garbage. I think that's absolutely hilarious. It's kind of become like its own meme on the channel there. But this uh, made me laugh. It was one of the top comments as well. So I wanted to give a huge shout out to Leighton Flynn for that comment. Thought that was funny. It made me chuckle a little bit there. But that does it for a random shout out. That does it for our AEW figure news. Guys, what do you think about this news? Do you think this is pretty much, you know, confirmed? Do you think it's possible? What do you think of all the comments? Don't you think since Luchasaurus was literally interviewed and talked about him being in Wave 3, he didn't get in Wave 3, that he would be pretty much locked up for Wave 4? I think so, Brad. And I think I think the pandemic may have put a knife in those plans and they couldn't work with everybody. You know, like you're away from the office. You can't get all the details and all the fine things 
worked out for his figure. You think about it, maybe the rest of the figures would have been easier to make at this junction. So maybe that was the case. You know, they just couldn't get in the office in person to finalize Luchasaurus's figure. So finally, when they got the time, they got together, and maybe he's getting pushed out for Wave 4. I even tagged Jeremy in my story the other day. Somebody said, any AEW figure you really want to see for Wave 4? And I said, Luchasaurus, please, at Jeremy, and he replied to my story. So I don't know, man. We'll see. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to cross the line, and uh, the Lakers are beating the Golden State Warriors right now. Just got the update. Love to see it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Don't cross the line. Or do. Psych, don't! Don't!